Our Bible word is Exodus 3 verse 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. So this is where God reveals himself to the, to the angel at the burning bush. Let's first have a look at the overall context of the Pentateuch. Well, the Pentateuch means the five books and refers to the five books of Moses. So there's Genesis, that's where God creates, and it's the story of the patriarchs. The Exodus, or the book of Exodus, that's where Moses is called, and the Exodus takes place, and where Israel eventually appears or comes to Mount Sinai, and that's covered over Exodus and Leviticus, and even to the beginning of Numbers. And Numbers refers to the 40-year desert wandering, and then Deuteronomy is where they leave the desert and eventually arrive at Moab. Of course, that already starts at the end of Numbers, and that takes you through to the end of Deuteronomy. So that's how those five books of Moses fit together. And if you look at the beginning of chapter 3, verses 1, it tells us now of Moses and his God appearing to him there through the bush. Of course, we know the story of Moses. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. The Pharaoh ordered the slaying of the firstborn. And then Moses he was put on the river Nile in a reed basket. So he escaped that massacre. Pharaoh's daughter looked after him. And he grew up in the palace. And eventually Moses came to be aware, I'm actually a Hebrew. Or I belong to the people of Israel. Then he went out to them and he tried to intervene. And some of them quarreling. And he also saw one of them being beaten by an Egyptian. And then Moses beat the Egyptian who died. And now the news spread of that. And he had to flee. And he fled to the Midian. And the Midian is like a desert area. As we shall see, it's also called the mountain of God. Where God appeared to Moses in the bush. And so the question is, is this the same place as Mount Sinai? It looks like it may be because some people put Mount Sinai there at the Sinai Peninsula, while others will put it here in this area of Midian. And that Midian there in that yellow region, that is where Moses fled from Egypt. And that's where he came to the priest Jethro and he married his daughter Zipporah. And she bore him a son called Gershom, and that's where he lived his life. And this is where he tended the flock of sheep, etc. And this is in this area of the Midian that where God appeared to him. Of course, it might also be Yahweh, Mount Sinai, actually is. And this also makes sense if we go later in, in chapter 3, verses 12. It says there, when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain, on this mountain being where God is now will appear to Moses in the burning bush. So when you read this idea of the mountain of God, it's a synonymous for Mount Sinai. It's also given the name of Mount Horeb as it is here in Genesis 3. So it appears that in these three different place names refers to the same place and it per perhaps refers to this Midian region, this is where Mount Sinai should be situated. But anyway, if we go to chapter 3, verses 1, it says there, Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And as I said, this mountain of God is also known as Mount Sinai and as Mount Horeb. It must be the same mountain where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Elijah later on fled to this mountain. It's a, this mountain has a rich tradition in the Old Testament. And it appears to be in this Midian region, rather on the Sinai Peninsula. And then after Moses came to Horeb, this mountain, if you read our Bible verse, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire, from the midst of a bush, so he looked, and behold, the
The bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Of course, Moses is marveled at this great sight. How can this be? But anyway, here God reveals to him. He says, I'm the God of your fathers, the God of Abram, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And then Moses says, well, who shall I say sent me? And he says, I am who I am. I am has sent me to you. Tell him that's my name. And God also then reveals his wonders to Moses, where his rod turns to a snake. His hand he puts in his bosom, it's covered with leprous sores, and it becomes snow white, it says, and then it's healed again. So God here calls and he commissions Moses, because he says, I've seen my people in Egypt. They are suffering. I've heard their cries. And if we go to verse 10, now this is what God also tells Moses. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. So yeah, we have what may be described as a theophany. That's where God reveals himself to mankind in the form of the burning bush. Now, of course, it's a mystery. It's this flame. It's this divine manifestation of God. An angel, a messenger of God who appears to Moses. And this is where Moses is called to go rescue the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. 